What is going on guys? Jason Burke here, Styles Clash for Life, coming at you on YouTube, and today I've got a Steelbook DVD review. I haven't done a review of these in a long time, or a review of any sorts in a long time. I'm actually, I picked up something the other day, I wanted to give it to you guys on this channel. First of all, I hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving weekend, I hope you had lots of Friendsgivings and Thanksgiving dinners and uh, turkey and football and family. Hope you guys had an awesome holiday weekend. I know I did. <clears throat> Still coming down, trying to rest and everything from last week, but uh, I did stop over at um, Best Buy last um, Wednesday or Thursday, and I saw they had, for $10, it was $10 overall, the Psycho Steelbook. Now, uh, I'm not big on uh, paying more than a few bucks for DVDs. I, I go on, like, I offer and... Uh, Half.com and Amazon and eBay, and I pay, you know, three, four, five bucks for a movie. I don't usually pay ten dollars, but Psycho is actually, fun fact, my all-time favorite uh, horror movie. It's one of the first ones that got me started. I love Hitchcock. I love Anthony Perkins. Um, I have the Psycho two, three, and four DVD set. So uh, I didn't. Have, I had the first one I think recorded from TV like a long time ago, so I watched that. But I wanted to upgrade. I've been looking for the official DVD of this. And Best Buy had this steel book for $10. I figured you couldn't beat that. Uh, I love extras. I love menus. Uh, I love cases. So you really can't beat that for $10. Bucks. Um, and again, Psycho is my all-time favorite horror film. Uh, my first ever steel book, actually. I never owned a steel book before. So it's cool to say that my favorite all-time film is not my first steel book. Um, again, starting off with the case. I'm going to review, um, you guys mostly know what the movie is already, so I'm not going to get too much into the movie itself. I wanted to get into the special features and the casing and stuff and all the things that make this steelbook special. Uh, there you see on the, on the cover, you have the uh, Psycho Bates Motel. There's the house on top of the motel with the lights on for the mother. You have the hill he uh, often climbs down in a fit of, fit of rage. And you have the uh, blood coming down the hill, circling the drain, from the famous shower scene. I love this casing. The steel book is good quality. I love the artwork on here. It's great. The back, there's a little slip cover thing here that has um, some, some steel images. Just a couple of uh, still shots from the movie that are famous. Uh, also gives you a digital code. And uh, the, yeah, this is actually the Blu-ray and digital DVD combo. And uh, this tells you what all the special features are and gives you a little synopsis of the movie. Um, taking this cover off, because it does kind of get in the way, which is the one thing about steelbooks, the slip covers are kind of, uh, they get ruined pretty quickly. But on the back you have, we all go a little mad sometimes, and the knife in the shower logo. So I love this steelbook. There's the side with the psycho name. Love the steelbook on the outside. Opening it up, here's the inside. I'm going to take the, the digital code out. But you just have the iconic cover there of Psycho. Really cool looking disc. I love stuff like this. It's well worth $10 for this. And there's nothing on the inside of the disc. But really cool steel book. Um, again, if you guys haven't seen Psycho, please go see it. It's one of the first slashers. It's 1960. It's Hitchcock. Anthony Perkins is awesome. Uh, it's a fake story about a girl who's having a hard time with her life, who steals some money. Along the way, uh, it turns into a slasher. She runs into Norman Bates, staying at his uh, motel in a life crisis, and it winds up being the story of a boy and his mother. Um, so, uh, again, check that out. But uh, I wrote down all the special features. There's a ton of features on here. So if you can get this for 10 bucks or even 15 this is super worth it. The number one feature, uh, bonus feature on this is the making of Psycho. It actually runs an hour and 34 minutes. It is a full-length uh, feature at Making of Psycho. Uh, it's a movie in itself. It is almost as long as the actual physical feature itself, which is a minute, an hour and 50 minutes. So this Making of is an hour and 34 minutes. It is all-encompassing. It talks about Hitchcock's early days. It talks about how he went to make the movie. You get interviews from most of all the actors. Of course, Hitchcock and uh, Anthony Perkins have passed away passed away, so they are not on this. But most of the other actors are. Uh, the sound designers are on this. Uh, the author of uh, the book, Robert Block, they talk about Robert Block and stuff, how, how the book got modified. Um, the documentary maker does a really good job putting the interviews together. Uh, they show a lot of uh, additions to the scenes and uh, some backstage stuff in this documentary. It's just all-encompassing. Everything you could want from a making-of documentary. Any movie you like uh, like this that has a making-of, again, an hour and a half, 
it is it is, talks about every aspect of the movie. It talks about crowd reception and going into theaters and telling stories of acting on the scenes and uh, talking about the nudity and showing the toilet and the blood effects and what they used for the shower scene and uh, how they ingratiated the sound and Hitchcock's different style and stuff. So it's, it is a really great hour and a half uh, making of. If you're a fan of Psycho, you have to see it. There's nothing better. Um, they also have a 10-minute uh, sound uh, featurette. It's called Psycho Sound, and it's uh, 10 minutes. And they talk about how they update the sound from the original um, DVD or, or, or feature into this Blu-ray edition. They show uh, some before and after sound effects, how they add extra th th um, like birds and things on the outside, how they enhance the sound on the inside, add a couple extra chords, uh, turn the volume up, and, and make it feel more of a, of a studio-quality sound. Um, so the sound designer is modifying uh, the sound for this disc. Uh, go into good detail for 10 minutes about how uh, they modified for this set. And it's, it's really informative, too. It's really fun. Then we have a 26-minute documentary on Hitchcock's legacy. It's called In the Master's Shadow, Hitchcock's Legacy. This goes over 26 minutes. And it's a really good, again, if you're a fan of Hitchcock and you like stuff like Vertigo and the Birds and stuff like that, it's a must-see. Um, you have other, other directors and contemporaries like John Carpenter, um, like Argento, like um, who else was in there? So, so many famous other... Uh, directors, I didn't write down the names, but probably 10 or 15 different famous directors that made movies between the 60s and the 90s uh, have really good uh, interviews here talking about their impact um, that they got from Hitchcock. They show a ton of scenes from Hitchcock's classic movies and him breaking first ground on the stuff that he did. And they also show side by side people like Eli Roth and John Carpenter's films, how they borrowed Hitchcock's ideas and how he paved the way for their movies. So you hear from a bunch of iconic directors about Hitchcock's legacy and you see examples of his work used in other movies. And they show a lot of cool clips from stuff, even Hitchcock's lesser work that nobody knows about. Some of the earlier silent films, you see a lot of cool um, you know, clips and featurettes on that. So again, 26 minutes of Hitchcock, uh, a little background documentary, really good stuff there. They have uh, Francis Trafont. Uh, this is Hitchcock Trafont interview excerpts. Uh, I didn't really watch this. It was all subtitled. It is a French director uh, talking with Hitchcock. Didn't really watch this one, um, but it does run 15 minutes, and, and it is a, uh, supposedly set a pretty good interview, so check it out if you get the chance as well. There is uh, newsreel footage for eight minutes. There is footage. This, this uh, feature is called The Release of Psycho, and it is eight minutes of a newsreel covering uh, Alfred Hitchcock, uh, his release of Psycho, talking about how um, they you aren't allowed to see Psycho unless you watch it from the beginning. If you come after the movie starts, you are banned from seeing it. Uh, they, they lock the doors until the next feature. They go into showing the lines outside of Psycho, talking about how they would do ticket sales, talking about how Hitchcock asked the audience not to spoil the ending because it was a big surprise ahead of its time. Um, just different stuff like that. Hitchcock's... Um, ideas going into this movie trying to spread press and, and uh, get uh, get a bunch of people excited for it. So that's an eight-minute newsreel footage, and it's authentic from the 60s, and it looks really cool as well in black and white. Uh, there's the shower scene with and without music. It runs 2.30. They show the original shower scene with no music and with music. That's always cool. They had the shower scene storyboards by Saul Bass for four minutes. They go shot by shot and show you how Saul Bass, the, uh, the storyboard board designer for the movie, designed each frame of the shower scene. So if you're a fan of the iconic shower scene and you want to see how it's drawn, how it looks in pictures, uh, this is for you. This is a pretty cool cool set. They have, um, I can't read my own writing here. What's next? They have uh, feature commentaries. There, there are two different commentaries here. Uh, maybe there's one. Uh, it's Stephen Rebello, the author of Alfred Hitchcock and the Making of Psycho, the guy that did the making. He does an audio commentary, uh, which I have not heard yet, but I've heard good things about. So uh, I'm going to watch that at some point soon. Maybe even give you guys a review of the commentary as well. Uh, I can't read my own writing, but there's something else for eight minutes. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really starting to, to slack here. Um, there are lo lobby cards, a minute and 30 seconds. It shows you all the different uh, cards, like like basically posters and, uh, and footage cards from different uh, states. Uh, cities and countries. It shows you like the Spanish and France and Mexican releases of Psycho and their cards and posters and what, what their uh, press look like in different countries. Very cool. That's a cool uh, sequence there. You had behind the scenes photos for eight minutes. They show you um, some different... Uh, this one is basically just um, shots of, the, of the, the cast and crew on set. 
uh, just different stills from the movie itself. So this was fine. Uh, just sort of uh, airbrushed and kind of fixed up uh, different different quality uh, stills and showed those. That was okay. Nothing special there. Production photos were cool. There was eight minutes and thirty seconds of production photos, which was awesome. I really really enjoyed that a lot. Uh, showing behind the scenes, uh, Hitchcock getting guys excited, Anthony Perkins trying to get into character, a couple of the, the bloody scene effects, the camera in the background, some good behind the scenes footage here for eight minutes. Then you had um, the original six and a half minute trailer of Hitchcock walking around uh, each each um, area of the set, trying to hype the movie up. And it's one of the coolest trailers I ever saw. You never really see uh, directors in their own trailers talking about the movie instead of a regular trailer. So that was cool. Also, several TV spots and re-release trailers as well. Um, so overall, this was excellent. I really enjoyed this. Uh, it covers all the basis. Hours of footage here. Again, for ten bucks. Uh, to get the remastered movie in excellent quality, with commentary, with the Hitchcock documentary, with the full making of documentary, um, effects on the newsreels, the sound, uh, storyboarding, trailers. This has everything you could want. For 10 bucks. this is quite a steal. If you're a fan of Psycho, again, just for the making of alone, this is well worth 10 bucks. So if you get a chance, again, cool case, cool features, excellent quality on the movie. I recommend this. 5 out of 5 stars. This is about as good of a... Uh, extras uh, set as you could want. Uh, if you're a fan of commentaries and uh, behind the scenes stuff, uh, everything you really could want is on this Psycho set. So go check that out. Again, if you guys have this set, did you enjoy it? What did you think of the features? Uh, if you have not checked it out, uh, do, do you want to check it out? And which feature would you mo most be looking forward to? So tell me in the comments down below, guys. Until next time, stay scared, dim the lights, lock your doors, and enjoy the movies. I'm out. I'll see you guys soon.